Hello folks and today we're going to take a look at this gaming headset, see if it's good. This is the Sil... Silla... Scala? Ski... Yeah, where the dictionary there? Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Technicational. My name is Peyton Wilmot and today we'll be taking a look at this... This... This gaming headset, you know what, I will save the name until I actually know how to pronounce it without butchering the name. So we're just going to call it gaming headset until then. <laughs> Dave, it's a new year, seriously? So this gaming headset is not really like normal gaming headset. Yes, it has a mic and it's fully covered over your head like a headphone, but it doesn't look or shape like one of those headset where people use a call centers i don't know about anybody else but I, I really don't like using a headset for gaming that looks like that i'm not a pilot and i'm not a customer service rep so first and foremost let's see what we get in the box so in the box you obviously get the headset and you also get a booklet way down at the bottom down here somewhere the booklet is yeah mm, yeah and you also get a adapter now the adapter is because this is primarily a computer headset so you have two inputs you have the mic input and you have the speaker input and the adapter puts those two inputs into one input that you can plug into a let's see now oh yeah a ps4 controller that's one or if you have pc that doesn't have a mic input separate from the speaker input also i forgot to mention the headset actually comes wrapped in bubble wrap <laughs> precious yo just load the bubble wrap the don't touch it it's So one of the most important questions you might be asking is why would I go out of my way to spend more money and buy a specific gaming headset? Well, stop me if you've heard this before. You know, a lot of the times I thought it was me. Probably it's just my accent because I'm Jamaican, and most of the persons I play with in this game is American. So I was like, yes, probably it's me. But no, it's actually those cell type headsets. They're good for cell phones, but they're not good when you're doing competitive gaming. And if you're like me, you hate having your ass hand to you in these games. Anyhow, my first impressions of this right out the box is, damn, these are well built, man. And those cushions, whoo, whoo they're thick. A lot of cushion for the pushing. Uh, yeah, that now go over well with the younger folks. Scrap that. Anyhow, right off the bat, I can say I really do like these headsets because they don't look like headsets they just look like really sturdy well built headphones you can't even see the headset part for this headset where exactly oh yeah 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 there they are it's just a little knob on one of the sides and these cables are thick and well built honestly though folks i cannot emphasize anymore on the build quality for these headsets they are just really good and it also has a volume control on the left ear where you can turn down the volume of what you're hearing if your aiming starting to suck and the people around you starting cursing and want to rage quit anyhow taking a closer look at the inputs for this headset you have two and they're color coded to help you because one is red and one is green red is for the mic and green is for the headphone side of things and you get an adapter to put both of them in one and you can also use this headset on a cell phone 
and as i said before a laptop that doesn't separate the speakers from the mic okay so we looked at it we feel it up and yeah we need to know if it performs just as good as how it looks so let's get this hooked up to uh, no no i'm not going to test it on a computer game i'm going to use it on the ps4 and see if it is able to hang with the big boys zone advantage is yours your weapon so after running a couple hours of crucible in destiny i must say yes i need to throw away the headset that i have and get something like this it is comfortable for hours of play and you also get clarity full-on great quality and clarity for the voices coming out the headset also the added benefit of the volume control on the side yeah it really helps for those annoying teammates that scream in your ears you know um it's really good as a headset but it looks so much like a headphone that i just can't help myself than to just test it out on a cell phone as a headphone and see if it's just as good so to actually test this as a headphone on a cell phone i had to dig up my iphone 5s which is like the last cell phone ever made with a headphone jack boy the times we live in Whew. so the Scylla red dragon headset sounded great as a headphone on the cell phone which completes this review and definitely makes this headset worth it for less than five thousand dollars I have nothing except for the name yeah it's I, I, I just go circle at Scylla but I have nothing wrong or bad to say about this headset although if you're a compact person and you want something a bit smaller this is definitely not where you should look for it or if you're looking for something with noise cancellation no this does not have it but what it does have though is bubble wrap <laughs> precious you're going back to that brother yo yes. leave me alone mine no Peyton seriously you're just gonna stay there and continue just do that for the whole entire video warm to the ultra you know, I tell the people in my foot. You know, uh, subscribe. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when the shots in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.